Good morning everyone, it's Melissa here and this morning I'm preparing a meal train delivery to go to a very dear old friend of mine who just had a new baby. Her baby is three weeks old and I wanted to tell you guys about how I do meal trains, especially because today's one is really like an over the top meal train. I've done a whole bunch of these for my channel Little Kosher Lunch. Today's meal train is super duper exciting. It's high end, it's kind of expensive, and since it's the summer, I still have a little bit of time without a normal schedule that I could hop in my car with this and go deliver it to this mom in another county. So I'm very excited. And I also wanted to share this idea with you because this meal train was actually my friend and sorority sister's shower gift. And so for that reason, I felt very confident that she was gonna be happy getting food deliveries in lieu of physical gifts. And I also wanted to really go above and beyond what I would maybe normally spend for a more sort of crock pot or soup meal and do like a real kind of fine dining meal that's easy to rewarm and feels kind of glamorous and sexy and romantic for her and her husband tonight. I'm gonna just walk you through and then I have the last few items that I'm preparing just to give you a sense of what I do, which I realize is slightly crazy and you could do a much smaller version of this. I prepared last night when I was doing dinner for the family and uh, after baby bedtime. These are little egg puffs, I'll just show you. In my muffin pan with silicone baking cups, I did scrambled eggs with salsa. I poured them into each little cup, baked at 400 degrees, and these puffed up like a souffle and then fell. They have a little bit of cheese on top, and these are great in the morning for breakfast or for a nursing mom who needs a grab and eat snack out of one hand. These contain a little over one egg each. I think I did 14 eggs for a dozen puffs. So those are gonna be for breakfast the next day. Salsa eggs with individual guacamole scooped back into the avocado shell. It has cilantro, so I stuck a few leaves on top just to give them fair warning. I try to make it an abundant amount of food but not too much leftovers, so we're sharing a bag of chips with this family today. For dinner tonight, I seared French rack of lamb. This is super fancy. Buying this at Costco, the meat is a little bit expensive for this type of a cut. I am adding value to an already really beautiful piece of meat by searing it for them in my cast iron skillet. I'm putting it in this take and go aluminum pan that they can keep and I have rewarming instructions where I did the searing, they're gonna take it out of the fridge a little bit early and then shove it in the oven at 400 for about 10 minutes to get a rare to medium rare rack of lamb. And then this rests and all her husband has to do while she's holding the baby is just slice it up and dinner is served. I'm decanting a little bit of my mint jelly into a small container for them to have. They are going to have these blistered green beans, which are from the farm stand. I did all the washing, snipping, cutting, and sauteing in my cast iron skillet with garlic. I also went to the farm stand and got fresh end of summer corn. I cut it off the cob and sauteed it briefly with olive oil and a dab of butter. It has nothing else in it. It is such amazing corn. It's fabulous. So it's gonna be corn, green beans, lamb, mint jelly for dinner. I'm also fixing my little miniature handheld salads for them little miniature handheld salads. These are perfect for a new mom. So I just wanna show you what these look like because this is a product that maybe you haven't bought before. These are the Little Gem lettuces. You can get them at most supermarkets in like the fancy lettuce and prepared veggies area. Here are three of them. I'm just gonna do a few of few for this little couple today because there's not a lot of family in town any longer. What I do is I just cut the end, these have been washed, and I cut them in half. And that is it, and look how beautiful and fresh they are. They have very little waste, they're already kind of trimmed up. And I like to put them in a container, this is my leftover tomatoes container. I'm gonna cut up the others and then slip in a few little cherry tomatoes on the side that have been washed. And in here, I'm just gonna squirt some ranch dressing that everybody knows and loves. I'm gonna squirt it into an old yogurt jar and close the lid and put it in my cooler. Mom is gonna dip into her dressing and eat in two or three bites each little lettuce section. Top it with a cherry tomato if she wants. This is the epitome of a meal train. So if you know someone who's just had a baby, someone who's had surgery, someone who is 
is ill, someone who is grieving. This is the kind of food that's super easy for them. It's washed, it's cut, it can be eaten by hand. I mean, even once these lamb chops are cooked and sliced, you can just eat them with your hand. So that's why I did this style of lamb instead of another chop. I have a couple other things here to share with you. I am preparing washed and easy to eat fruit. I have grapes and I'm gonna cut a mango and put it in this plastic throwaway container. I also have some really beautiful pasta for them to have another night with an eggplant dish that I made probably a few weeks ago. It's eggplant in voltini with ricotta cheese, lemon zest crumbs, and a bed of tomato sauce that I made from my garden. This I made in double, put in my freezer knowing that this baby was coming. I have this wine for the lamb tonight. I have bubble water in the fridge, which is also gonna act as a, an ice pack type thing in my cooler when I drive up to Santa Barbara. For good measure, some little tea lights for them. And I also did a printout for mom of the rest of her meal train schedule, which is here, of all of the nice people who have signed up to bring meals. I think that she's very, very tired right now. So this calendar reminder that I can stick on her fridge is gonna be a helpful thing for her today. I'm gonna pack this up and hop into the shower because I have children who are gonna wake up and a drive to make today. But I just wanted to share with you this idea of the meal train, which is very near and dear to my heart. These kinds of really kind gestures were done for me when I had new babies and I was very tired. And this mom in particular has family far away and she could really use a rack of lamb. Let's be honest, she could really use a rack of lamb. Her husband loves lamb, they're super tired, so I'm really excited to drop it off and let them enjoy their night tonight. Take care and thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you later, bye-bye. So, so, so. Oh, you're so nice, Bunny. Just give her a nice pet. She's very happy now. She's surrounded by all her friends. Mm, beautiful baby, just Hi, to tell you about. Hi, Bun Bun. Yeah, you love the baby. So gentle on her. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I love her. Out of the eye. <laughs> Did it on the back. Yeah.